Hey fellow investors and fellow stock guardians, it's Thursday, January 21st, 2021. I'm Hora, co-founder and CEO of StockCard, and as usual, here is a recap of today's noteworthy movements in the market. The Dow and the S&P 500 indices took the opposite directions, although both ended Thursday nearly flat. As is customary on Thursdays, the Labor Department reported the new number of jobless claims, and although the absolute number was lower than last week, still more than 900,000 people filed for unemployment. Billionaire after billionaire and hedge fund manager continue to warn investors that the market valuations are beyond reason, and so far, as we all know, investors have mostly ignored all such warnings. The solar stocks had a good day on Thursday, one day after President Biden decided to rejoin the global effort to combat climate change. Several solar stocks, including Enphase Energy, Sunrun, Fair Solar, and Sunworks, popped up quite drastically. While there weren't any new announcements from the Biden administration, the solar and renewable energy stocks are enjoying a Biden effect. By the way, as a reminder, you know that on a stock card, you can type in renewable energy or solar in the search bar on any of the pages and get a starting list of stocks to add to your watch list. From the losers list, two of my favorite fast trades are down once again. Sangamo, ticker SGMO and Editas, ticker Edit, E-D-I-T, from Genome Editing Stock Collection, were down more than 5% and 10% respectively. My strategy with these highly volatile but quality stocks is that I buy when they drop sharply and add a very close stop loss to control the risk of losing money. Typically, I sell when I make about 10%. I have repeated that cycle several times, and it's a fun way to make some money in the stock market. But before playing fun games like that in the stock market, you always need to understand why the stock price has dropped so you don't get stuck with a company that truly deserves a lower price. Between the two, Editas is the one that seems more interesting today because the stock price fall seems to be short term. It dropped after the company announced a secondary stock offering. New shares offerings typically lead to a price drop that recovers after a while, assuming nothing else changes about the company's operations. Of course, there is always the risk of losing money in these types of fast trades or fun plays in the market. So be careful if you also want to play these kind of games in the market. For today's watch list worthy stock, I'm looking at a SPAC. A SPAC or a special purpose acquisition company is typically a public, professionally managed investment company with the sole purpose of merging with a private startup to bypass the challenges of going public and accessing public market capital for a startup that would have otherwise had a hard time raising capital. These stocks have been the hot topic in 2020. I mostly ignored them because they have ended up being some of the most volatile stocks in the market. The one SPAC that grabbed my attention today is a SPAC partially managed by Billy Bean, the man who applied data analytics to baseball. And you may have watched the movie starring Brad Pitt based on Billy's story. The SPAC plans to invest and merge with a company that focuses on sports entertainment and analytics. While we don't know which company that is, it is a stock worth watching. By the way, it's a company that is called Redball, and I'm going to add it to my 2021 watch list. As always, if you like to give a stock card VIP a try to research unlimited number of stocks and follow successful investors' portfolios, Use promo code ROLL with our CEO, all lowercase and in one word. That's it for today. If you like these quick market recap reports directly from my daily stock market research, please like and subscribe and share with your fellow investors. I'll see you tomorrow.